time to talk about a very powerful theorem in geometry called power of a point. Now power of a point is actually very simple. All it says is that for any point x in a circle, when you draw any two segments passing through point x, you're going to have this very useful relationship. So xa times xb equals xc times xd. And this is true for any point x in the circle. I repeat, any point. So you should think to use this when you have problems involving a circle and line segments. So in this first problem over here, we're given AC equals 2, BC equals 8, and CD equals 4. And using this information, we need to find CE. So let's write out the power of a point relationship using point C. So AC times CE should be equal to BC times CD. So let's fill in everything we know. AC is 2. We're trying to find CE. BC is 8. And CD is 4. And then we'll find that CE equals 16. So that was just us using the power of a point theorem very directly on this problem. But now let's move on to some more examples. All right, so we have two more examples using power of a point. So over here, FH equals 2, HJ equals 10, HI equals 4, and we need to find the length of GH. So we're going to use power of a point on point H. So power of a point states that FH times hj equals gh times hi. fh is 2, hj is 10. We're trying to find gh and we know hi is 4. And we'll find that gh is equal to 5. Nice and easy. All right, let's take a look at the last example. So over here, lm is 2, km is 3, mn is 6, and we need to find on. Now we're going to start off by using power of a point on point M, which says that KM times MN is equal to LM times MO. KM is 3, MN is 6, LM is 2, so we can find MO to be 9. Now we weren't asked to find MO, we are asked to find ON. So how did that help? Well this problem is an example of using everything you know, so it's not just a one-step problem, this is actually going to be 
a two-step problem. And it's time for us to use the very useful Pythagorean theorem. Because take a look at triangle NMO. You'll notice it's a right triangle. So then we would have O N squared is equal to M N squared plus M O squared. M N is 6, M O is 9. So if we bring that over here, we'll find that O M is the square root of 6 squared plus 9 squared, which is equal to 3 root 13. So that concludes the power of a point, part one. Now let's move on to power of a point, part 